absolutely 11 years for me being here in Genuine Love. I came in just doing a pastoral time 11 years ago. I just thank God. If, since the day that I walked in that door, my life has never been the same. And I give all the glory to God. All the glory to God. Every prophecy I give to God. Because God gave it to the man of God. Hallelujah. He told me I would be up here. I think it was like a month after I was here. Even um, Prophet Michelle told me the same thing when I walked through the door. I said, that is not me. But you know what? It was not my will. It's God's will. And I'll be coming from Mark. Four. Open your Bibles. Amen. Let's open your Bibles and let's go to Mark. Mark 4. And um, everyone please stand for the reading. Amen. We are the new ordinance here. Amen. A higher standards. Amen. We walk in a genuine love excellence. Amen. Glory to his name. And we are God people being obedient. Amen. And um, Mark 4. And again, he began to teach by the sea. And a great multitude was gathered to him. And so that he got into a boat and set it on the sea. And the whole multitude of the land facing the sea. Two, then he taught them many things by parables and also to them in his teaching. This is Jesus talking. Listen, behold, a sword went out to sword. And it happened as he sowed that some seed fell by the wayside. And the birds of the air came and devoured it. Some fell on stony ground where it did not have much earth. And immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched. And because it had no root, it withered away. And some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no crop. But other seed fell on good ground, and yielded crop that sprang up, increased, and produced some thirtyfold some 60 and some a hundredfold. Amen. Amen. Glory to his name. You know, I'm here not to do according to what I want to do, but according to what the Spirit has me to do. And when Jesus was talking, he had 12 disciples walking beside him. And those 12 disciples, they didn't understand the parable. But in time, God, Jesus told them they would know. Because there's one thing about Jesus when he talked in parables. He talked because it was sunk to him. that Because he didn't want any other person to know exactly until he taught his disciples. And when he was teaching his disciples the parables because he knew that they was going to be an apostle, that they could go out and teach their children the word of God through parables because it seems like us, as we are, we, we are, we are people that need to be taught in, in a way that, that is, 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 is like our finance are, how we are as people. Some of us um, was back then, they did, they worked through um, the field. So he had to pe speak to them in a way that they can understand. Right. And just, just like that, all he was talking about, the seed was the word. Amen. But the word that it would grow in us. And see, some people had the word in them, but when they was faced with a problem, the problem, they was afraid. And they went back because they really didn't understand. They didn't get the word down in them. 
They didn't get the word deep in them. So what they did was, when the enemy came to them and said, okay, prophetess, you're not going to have a house anymore. Okay. And the, immediately, because she didn't know the word, she fell. She didn't, she didn't understand that um, if, if she knew the word deep inside of her, anything that's taken away from you, God always has something greater for you. Something greater for you. And that's why God is, that's how we are as, God, as people for God. We get the word, but we don't know the word. And we will always fall because we don't understand. When the man of God comes to us, the apostle comes to us, he's an apostle, he's been sent. And he's going to talk to you in, in, in parables. Yes, Some things we don't even understand. As far as like sowing a seed, he'll say, I want everybody to give a thousand dollars. Everybody looking, looking on the outside now. Not understanding. He probably don't even understand why God asked for that thousand yeah. dollars. But the word tells us to be obedient. That's, that's, that's all God tells us. The word. He said the word is in us. Believe in the word. And the word, when he gives us the word, and it's, it's like a seed that's being planted. And if you plant that seed on good soil, like genuine love, good soil, amen, it'll come back to you. Like he said, some came in 30 60 and 100 folds. And that's, that's, what, that's where we're at right now. How many of are obedient to the word in here? How many, how many of you are obedient to the word? Okay, don't raise your hand if you haven't been obedient to the word. Because how many of us, apostle told us, um, we did, he asked for a seed for the building fund. How many of them finished their building fund seed? Amen. My hand is not up because I have it. And it's obedience. But I know that the word came forth. And I know this is the year. It's for us. And I, some of us say, we don't see how we're going to have it. But I know before we, before we march is up, I'm going to have my seed that I found. Um, promise. It's a promise that we made. It's, it's just, it's an oath. It's an oath that you made. You made it to the apostle. So an apostle has, he's a, when you make an oath to an apostle, it's just like making an oath to God. It's a vow, really. It's really a vow. And so we're not supposed to break a vow. So I'm being, I'm coming to you from my heart because when the word is in us, or when the apostle comes to us, and he asks us something, don't be apart to have me up here saying this. This is, I'm only led by the Spirit. All he said gave a word, Christine, you're going to lecture. And the word came to me because of my disobedience. Amen? So the word came to me for my disobedience. Have I given my building fund? And that hit me because I know being a woman of God and being up here, I have to be the first partaker, being a disciple. That's just like the child walked with Jesus. Those were disciples walking with him. They couldn't understand anything he was saying. He after he told the people, he told a mother to the people, not only the disciples, but he told a mother to the people. He said, Some of you have sworn on good ground. Some of you have sown by the wayside. Some of you have sown on thorns. That's us. That's us. And so what I'm saying is, when the men of woman of God come up here, and when they talk to us, they're not talking on their own. Because they are a prophet. They are an apostle. They hear from the king. And only they know what God is telling you. And all we have to do is be obedient and walk in the word. Walk in the word. I stand steadfast, unmovable, abounding 
in the works of the Lord because I know my labor is not in vain. Do you know about your labor? Are your labor in vain? Hallelujah. Servants. We are servants. And we have to be obedient. It's not only, he's not only talking about are we doing, we paying our tithes, are we laid about, come on serving also. When the apostle has talked to us about serving, singing, dancing, any little thing, the first thing we want to do is get into our own self. But listen from the heart of my heart right now. A pastor asked me to do, he told me to do a crazy thing. That's another one. <laughs> you know what? You, you, what, I'm, what I'm really saying is the word comes to you first, it hits you, and boy, it's a smack of me. And I'm not even a song, I can sing, I can't sing. And so that's why I, I'm like, I know he ain't talking to me. So, I tried to um, hide it a little bit. I think it was two pastorias ago. Um, I got on stage and I did some. <laughs> so I, you know, I tried. <laughs> and then he spoke again, I think it was maybe about three months ago. He said, Christine, we know you on the praise team. I said, oh Lord. <laughs> He keeps speaking on that praise thing, but how many know that I'm going to be obedient because I'm, you know what? Uh, I'm going to be praise thing. I'm going to be obedient because, you know what, sometimes being obedient is, you know, it's better to be obedient. I'm, I'm telling you, it's better to be obedient. Because I don't know in this time of next year, you don't know what God has for me. But by being obedient, I'm blocking, I'm hindering things that God has for me. You know, we always hear apostles say is that um, what God has for you is for you no matter what. True. It's true. But, how fast do you want it? That's a good question. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. That car, that house you're seeking for. How fast do you want it? Glory to God. See, I'm, I'm here by divine appointment. Amen. And the word tells us, do not waver at the promise of God through unbelief. But I am strong in faith, knowing that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. It's not me, amen. He said, I can sing. He sure can. Church will find out next week. Because I will be on the praise team. Amen. I'm just being obedient. So I'm just telling you all, when the word comes down, it's not coming down just on you. It's everybody. And when the man of God get up and he's talking about walking, in authority, when he tells us when we need to, we have open promises, when he tells us all these things, and we're not being obedient in doing servitude, that's easy. We're not here to please men, we're not here to please anybody else, but we're here to please God. And who's going to give account to it? Only us. When the apostle come out and talk, when the prophets come out and talk to us, all we have to do is be obedient and just walk. Don't ask no question. Put blinds on and just walk. That's all. Just put, put blinds across your eyes and just walk. Amen? Amen. Amen. And this I will say. I am the Lord worth the ship. Created in Christ Jesus. But it is God who works in me, both to the will and to do his good pleasure. Y'all be blessed. Amen. Amen.